guys, welcome back to the Space Shooter series. This is part 3, so if you have missed part 1 or 2, then please go do those first, because we've already gone this far. Press S key to start, and we can shoot. So this time we're gonna make this enemy ship come at us. And like this, it comes here, and then again comes here. And there's gonna be a lot of cloning in this. And also, if the laser touches the ship, it's gonna explode. So let's do all of that now. So, whenever the game is... No, whenever we receive start game, we can put a score now. So make a score. We don't need to show now time and shoot time. We need a score. Let's put the score here. And we also need something called lives. Lives. That'll be these stuff. Lives, these stuff. So our lives will disappear when obviously the green stuff becomes white. So whenever we receive start, we're gonna set lives to three, because we have three lives, and set score to zero, because we have zero score in the start. And then we can switch costume to enemy black one, because like, we're not changing costumes, but just in case they're doing anything. And also hide. Because we don't, we're going to clone and show it. We're not going to show the actual thing. And also when we receive start game. Uh, we are forever. Uh, wait for 0 0.5 seconds. So every 0 0.5 seconds a new enemy ship is going to spawn. And create the clone of myself. And then whenever we start as a clone. We are going to show. And set Y to 180. Because that's the top. Set Y to 180. And also. We're going to set x to anything between minus 240 to 240 so set x to pick random from minus 240 to 240 also uh, repeat until y positions equal to minus 180 or more than 180 i mean yeah, less than one, minus 180. Because when we reach here, like the t bottom part, we have to make it disappear. So, repeat until... We put an OR and an equal. Let's put an equal and then this and then y position draw a y position put another or instead of this we put it in the wrong order sorry it's like this something like this so this equals to this or this equals to this so y position equals to minus 180 or less than 180 so if it's um equals to 180 or less than 180 then we need to change y change y so we're just gonna repeat this until it touches the uh, ground place so change y hmm. 
change y to pick random from minus 7 to minus 30. So that's going to be our plane speed, the speed of our enemy ship. So minus 7 to minus 30. And if it's touching the red ship, if it's touching the red ship, then it's gonna explode. But first, if it's touching the laser, uh, if touching the laser, our laser is called Sprite 4. So uh, then, we have to create a variable for the explosion to occur. So here we have to do an X explosion and a Y explosion. So that's going to tell another sprite to know that this is where the explosion is occurring. So this might be confusing, but we need to set the explosion the x and y explosion oh no we actually we accidentally ran the game uh x and y to the current x position and y position so we're gonna create another sprite which is gonna tell the ship to explode and we're also gonna change score by one because when the laser hits this enemy ship, the score is going to go up by 1. Change score by 1. Also, we're going to broadcast the explosion to actually happen. Explosion. And if touching player 1 ship orange. So also if the um this crashes into the plane then we're going to actually lose health. So if the plane is called sprite 2. So if touching sprite 2 we're going to set this to this this but we're going to broadcast Chain ex explosion two, and we're also gonna broadcast change shield, so it's gonna change health, so our health bar is gonna go go down. Explosion two, explosion two, because this is the explosion for the plane. So the explosion two will occur when the Enemy ship crashes into our ship. And after that, all of that happens, and that means it reaches over here. When that happens, it's gonna delete uh, the clone. Now, when we run the game, we are. Well, Y explosion is, of course, changing. We're not actually making the thing explode. And we also need to delete the clone when it's touching the laser, of course. Oh well, yeah, when it's touching the laser, it disappears. So that works. So now we're just gonna make the explosion. So the explosion. Explosion. Let's just keep the explosion a simple blast. Um, is there any blast sprite? Well, I'm just checking if there's any blast sprite. Boom. Nope. So I guess we're just going to create our own explosion. Uh, just a few spiky stuff. Just 
what the normal explosion, cartoony explosion looks like. Not a professional explosion. And another smaller one. And we can put the outer red. And the inside yellow. An explosion. We can select all this and make it smaller. Yep, I guess that's also too big. Yeah, that's also too big. Let's put it like this much. It's gonna interrupt our gameplay if we do it that big. And whenever green flags click, we're of course gonna make it hide. But we're also gonna, yeah, this is gonna be named, um, yeah, this is gonna be named Enemy Explosion. And, yeah, so this is gonna be named Enemy Explosion. So this won't be the Player One Ship Explosion, which is our ship. It's gonna be the Enemy Ship Explosion. The black ship's gonna explode. So when we, whenever we receive, um, so in this case we can see that whenever the laser touches the uh, black ship, it broadcasts ex EXPL, which is short for explosion. And explosion is that. So whenever we receive this, we create the clone of ourselves. We when we start as a clone. We are going to set um, in this position. So we're gonna make this go to to X explosion and Y explosion, and also show. We're also gonna switch costume. Uh, switch costume to um, all costume one and start sound explosion so we're gonna make an explosion sound i don't know if there's an explosion sound Ooh. yeah i guess we can use this for now let me just cut this out yeah this part we're gonna start sound not play sound till done otherwise it's gonna ruin our timing and delete the clone delete the clone and also we're gonna make another one which is actually our ship exploding we can duplicate this and player ship explosion so when that happens, um, so that's explosion two. Wait, uh, yeah. We are not really making the health go down but well it works so next video we're gonna make the health bar yeah the health bar and the live go down so that will be almost the complete game itself so thanks for watching this video sorry if it's longer than the other videos Please like and subscribe if you like this video.